All right. What's up, everybody? We're going to begin with patch 4.22, Passage to Egypt. Came off a console on Tuesday. I couldn't view it because uh, for some reason it wouldn't load up on the freaking website for me. So today we're doing the video. Let's go. I did. I tried doing a video before. It was just too freaking long. I'm just get jabbing on. Yap, 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 yap. So we're going to quit the yapping. And we're going to get through this. Skins. First two are Odyssey purchasable skins. 400 Gemmy Gems. We got Kunichi, Kunauchi, Kunkichochachi, Sirket, whatever. And we got Druidstone Geb. And we have a Odyssey reward skin. So once you accumulate so many Odyssey points, you will unlock this skin. Oni Musha Hachiman. Pretty cool uh, demon looking skin. And we got two Christmas skins here. They are both in the Christmas chest. Snow Day Scylla and Ice Mage Agni. And we have updated Sir Cat Mastery skins. So those, those are the skins this patch. Uh, they added Nightmare Mode for the adventure. Here's a whole bunch of Odyssey stuff you can... That they added new quest, uh, Scarab Jump Stab that you can buy. New emotes, fuck that. Avatar, music theme, miscellaneous. Read all that in the description. Link in the description. Item balances, so here we go. Tier 2, Titan's Bane, Warrior's Bane. Uh, decreased physical penetration from 22 to 15. Titan's Bane. Increased cost by 150 and decreased the physical penetration from 33 to 30. The reason uh, I'm, get, I'm guessing just people were shredding towers too much. Spellbound. Kusari. So it's tier 2. Shoguns. Here's Shoguns. Decreased magical protection from 50 to 40. Same thing for the tier 3. A lot of people were just buying this item. It was, it's just really good for the... the uh, bonus attack speed for you and your allies that are within uh, the radius, you know. Voidstone, increase or decrease magical protection from 70 to 60 and getting a nerf just because supports were buying this. Um, and we got buffs for Tiny Trinket, so it's the tier 2 lifesteal item for mages, so bond tier, tier, or tier 1, Bancroft, tier 1, Polly, uh, tier 1, Pythag, tier 1, Book of the Dead. Uh, increase magical power from 15 to 20. And tier 1 for lost artifacts was a tier 1 do more between tier 1 and Kronos. Um, increase magical power from 15 to 20. Also decrease the cost by 50. Soul Trap also decreased those a tier 2, uh, tier 1 book of the uh, book of Thoth. Decrease cost. And Doom Orb. So they changed a little bit of Doom Orb now. So the reason why they're kind of doing these uh, little buffs is because they, they wanted. A little bit more variety starting mid lane so instead of just stacking right away with buying tier 2 warlock sash or tier 2 book now you can get a starter item and you can get tiny trinket again or you can get starter item and um, lost artifact again just because of the bonus power or you can go get tier tier or you can get starter item and boombas whatever the frick you want to do so do more we got a little bit of a change got to increase the magic power from, so this is base increased magic power from 40 to 60, increased MP5, but decreased the max stacks from 50 to 40. So overall, it's the same uh, power in the end, but you just start off with more base power. So uh, it's pretty good. A lot of people have been starting Doom Orb now, just because of uh, it's a little um, better, a little bit better early game, and it's uh, easier to stack. You lose less stacks for dying because of it being 40 instead of 50. Blah 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 blah. Soul Eater. Uh, a little bit of changes here. They just decrease the cost and by 100. Increase the power, but reduce the evolve power. So overall, same power. They just kind of reduce the cost. And we get to the God Balances. Let's go. Fenrir. The Wolf Master. This is the big change here. So his two, his Seething Howl no longer uh, consumes the, the runes if you evolve five runes. So the runes stay if you're consuming them. And uh, they also increase the physical power buff on his two and increase the lifesteal buff. Brutalize, which is the three, you gain bonus physical and magical protection. And his ultimate, Ragnarok, um, increased range of the attack. And they, they added a cone targeter now while you're trying to bite somebody. So now you can activate. So if you have full runes, if you have five runes, you can now uh, activate your two. And those runes will not get consumed, so you can activate your two and then jump in with your one or press your three, and you'll get the bonus physical power from doing so, which is a pretty decent buff, actually. Ardeo got a nerf again. Decreased energy surge heal on the one. Um, and... 
her three decrease magical power scaling on life tap. So Kakong got also a little nerf. Reduce bonus shield when he goes in berserk mode. And decrease self move speed buff from uh, 10 to 5%. Uh, and vent anger his two. Ymir got a little bit of a, I don't know if there's a, ch I think there's a change or a buff, but Shards of Ice. Frostbite passive is now immediately applied to enemies in the area and refreshed by the detonate. So that's his ultimate. And that's about it. So I'll wrap it up. Uh, overall, pretty uh, interesting patch. New stuff came out. Uh, buffs, changes. Try it all out. And uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. GG's, no re's.